like trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Welcome to another episode of Things I Wish My Mum Had Told Me podcast. Brought to you by me, Clara Hermit. And me, Emma Thompson Hill. And today, we have a very special guest we joining do. us on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> normally we do a little intro um before we introduce our guest but i i just knew that was not going to work with with our guest today it's no. not possible <laughs> it's not possible it's going to be pure chaos there's, today yeah there's just yeah. no way there's no way to keep her not just even silent it's still as well you just can't yeah. You can't stop her from moving. Like a ball of energy. We are welcoming to the show today. She's incredible. You might know her from Peckham's Finest, from MasterChef, blowing up Instagram with her positivity, her body positivity, her self-love, making us all feel good. It is the one, the only, we Mojo. What's crackalacking? I love darling. it. Hi. How are you? I'm really nervous. No, like I follow not. you both on Instagram, and I'm such uh, a huge fan yeah. of you guys. Like it's, I'm really happy to meet you. Uh, really happy to be here. Really happy to meet you. As oh well. my god, it's you, so amazing. What accents can't you do? Yeah, you're really good. <laughs> do you know, I can't do Irish. Yeah, you can do Scottish. You're good at. I can do a really good Scottish accent. I think it's because I had a friend that was from Edinburgh. I watched mm. a lot of Barramolly growing, Barramolly growing up. Aye. Um, so, and I think like there, there was someone else in like EastEnders or... You're really good um, at it. I think, I don't, I don't know what it is, but like it comes to me and it stays and it doesn't go away. So I just hold on to it. It's incredible. Thank you. Do you think you're maybe Scottish in a, another life? Perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah. That could Perhaps. be a, that could be a possibility. What's the, can you just say what's the story in Balamori? <laughs> <clears throat> go on. What's the story in Balamori? There you go. What's the story in Balamori? Would you like, like to know? I kind of knew. What does that mean? No idea. No one knows. Just keep saying it's just it. a Scottish thing. It's just one of those things. We'll it's probably Scottish say it's something really rude. So I can do Irish. Mom. I can say it large. Do it for me. Well, that's all I can say. Oh, oh what can large. Say? large. 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 Look at like, my fucking sandwich. I've, large. I, I don't know. I, no, no. I can, all I can say is turkey tree and a turkey. I'll tell you what I'm good at. Turkey tree and a turkey. Geordie. Go on. Your foot and slag. Don't say that about my mate. You fucking slag. Don't watch fucking watch say Shaw. that. I'll fucking get you as I will. We're going, we're going out tonight. We're, I'm going to get fucking more. <laughs> we're, going, we're, we're, we're going right <laughs> round the town. We're going round the town. <laughs> Wait, I'm just Scottish again. I can, only do, I can only do Australian. Do it for me. I want to hear that. Good day, Right. So what I was saying is, I what 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 I, what I was going to say. No, do you know Sheila? Sheila? No, Sheila, Sheila, what about Not, Sheila? She, Sheila the Sheila. She's a Sheila. The one that looks after the sheep, Sheila. <laughs> she, she drives a ute. The and she's a got, ute. You know, she's got the blonde hair. She likes to go surfing sometimes. And she takes that sheep with her. Mm. You I know, know who you're talking about. Yeah, on the surfboard. And then she'll do a barbecue. But she's a fucking vegan. She put, does she put a put shrimp any, on there? There's no meat on there. No, no fucking shrimp. She's a fucking vegan. That's a joke. You wouldn't believe it, Sheila would you? Man. Not her fucking barbecue. She's a cunt. <laughs> I'm <laughs> not done. Can you do the pull? the fuck is that? What, what are you talking about? What's that? Oh, uh, I know. Well, you're so, I'm sorry, from Birkin, yeah. Where are you from? From Merseyside. I like that, it there. What, the whole fucking it's area? Right, what do you mean? It? No, but like, I just, I've just i moved around a lot. That's all. I don't know Berkey. this one. Berkey. I don't know about that, mate. <laughs> Anyone who's just joining this podcast is going to be like, what the hell has happened? <laughs> What's going on here? Guys, There's just loads of accents unhinged. going on. We are well. It's going to be an unhinged what we're episode today. Uh, today we're going to talk about whatever we want. We're going to talk about body positivity and relationship Ooh, with self because we woo. think that that's a really important thing. It is. But also anything else that comes out of your mouth is perfectly acceptable here. That comes mm. out, not in. <laughs> don't want something coming in your mouth. You don't know what I, I like. mean. Uh, I don't mind sometimes. You, you know, know my name, not my story. on the podcast. Passing the napkin <laughs> <laughs> on the podcast. Yeah, not live on the podcast. Uh, oh no, not on yeah, the. That, I no, mean, yeah. not right here. Right. Depends now. on. I mean, if we upload this to OnlyFans, anything goes. Oh, yeah, right? anything sure. goes. I still keep getting messages all the time. Do you have OnlyFans? Why won't you start OnlyFans? And I think I would be. You know what makes me real sad, guys? Like, I'd be fucking rich. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just because I'm not selling my titties. I'm not rich. I mean, yeah. I'm not. I'm not doing bad, but you know, <laughs> doing I all just right. Think about all the money I could make, but on there, I love sex workers. I really do. Yeah. Have, have you too. ever? Have you ever done like the the calculator? 
What? How what much? You, of what you have, how much you could earn based on your following? Pardon? Um, yeah. Okay. Don't do it then. If you've not done it, don't do it. Don't do it. If you've not done it, it don't do it. I know a girl. Well, no, I know a girl. Like a girl, I'm quite good friends with. Just only fans. I'm sure she's making quarter of a mil upwards. <laughs> right. And she don't even get a puss wart out. Just tits. Really? Really? Yeah. Really? Which does like a lot of fetish content. Yeah. Fetish. I, oh. For like people who like big girls. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's, just, it's, it's niche. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, I think for me the re- the she, you, you, you keep the cogs are turning. The no, 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 so, she's thinking, yeah. Mm. So I'm so, I'm starting to realize. I think I know what you're talking about. Like the the feeding stuff. Mm-hmm. No, I, th- I don't know because I've never like looked at her. Oh, okay, fans, but okay. I think she does like fetish stuff. So, but she doesn't get like fully nude or anything like that. Oh wow. Okay. Of a male baby. But, but I just, oh, I just think for me, <laughs> yeah. if if I as a like as a straight woman, it would put me off men for life if I did that. Hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like I just think, yeah. I just I couldn't I just couldn't be I just couldn't. And I I like salute everyone who does like support you here for you all of that stuff. I think that it, like it's your personal choice, isn't it? But it's like any job. Some people are going to be really good at it and it suits them. Other people not good at it, not going to suit them. That's just the way it goes. Yeah. You can't be good at everything. I'd be good at it though. Like I take yeah. some five fucking nudes. Yeah, my I nudes just, are I don't sell my epic. I've right seen now. that. I've seen that file You've on seen your my phone. Home folder. Yeah, I've seen it. You want to see my head? Oh, uh, yeah, I want to see that folder. Yeah. Show it to me after. <laughs> Stop, Miss Ella, get jealous. Don't flirt with me. Uh, oh, babes, it's Pride Mark. We can all get involved. It's getting a bit basic. So, why do you keep saying Pride Mark? Pride, oh my God. Is Pride, Pride Month. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said it's Pride Mark. I'm thinking, I'm not Pride Mark. Oh my Pride <laughs> Month. I'm giving yeah. a bit more than Pride Mark. <laughs> like, you cheeky bastard. Like, no, in my news folder, it's Pride Mark. Mark. Oh, you're right. Yeah. It's more yeah. Chanel. I'm celebrating it love all, well, I celebrate love all year round, but this month especially. Yeah. yeah. I hear you. And but this might come out when it's not Pride Month, but don't worry about it. Oh, um, okay. Well, you know, just. It was Pride Month it in was June. It was Pride Month. And hopefully you all enjoyed it and you were celebrating love in all ways. Yes. And one of the ways that we do celebrate love and something that we want to talk about on the body bodycast. Body body podycast body, body. with you is the idea of kind of body positivity, self love. And I know that that, yes. that term gets thrown around a lot. But you are someone who comes across as very confident, like with yourself, with your body. Have you always been like that? And if not, how did you get to that point? No. No, I've not always been like that. And I think a lot of people think that I am now always like that. And I certainly am not. I grew up very, um, I grew up with lots of reasons not to like myself, as we probably all did. But mine was just in that, not only uh, was my body shape not looked at, what's the word? Not looked at as desirable. Or represented. Or represented. Neither was my skin colour because I grew up around a lot of white people up mm. in North Lincolnshire. I always mention that. Whenever people would ask when I moved to London, like, what ends you rip? What, you, what, 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 you SE15, yeah? <laughs> Black bandana, gang, gang, all day, every day. I was like, no, I'm representing DN30 fucking nine, Doncaster. Not Donny. <laughs> Donny. <laughs> and the, the guys never got it in school. Anyway, um, so, <laughs> so I was like, I don't want to join this London beef. I don't know what it's all about. I'm a you con- were going home and yeah. Googling. <laughs> what does <laughs> Peng mean? <laughs> What oh, is, what's the other one you said before? Chung. Hey, Chung. 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 Anyone that went to school like 2003, 4, 5, um, that was like how you would say someone was attractive and I had to learn that. Was that not a real culture so- shock for you? Moving from like major. a small town in Lincolnshire to come into South East London? Yeah, I moved to Peckham. Yeah. I mm. moved from somewhere like, you know, everyone says morning. Yeah. yeah. Everyone knows each other's first and last name. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Um, even like the old ladies will say, oh, are you Josie? Early bird catches the worms. How's your grandma? Is she all right, love? All right, duck. See you later. ta um, to, to London, where I'd go into, going into a shop, just sweets, milk, yeah. and a newspaper, whatever. It was so cold. Mm. I'm used to talking to my cashier, the shop mm. accountant person, all the time. And you're all right? How's your kids doing? You're all right? And at the age of 12, very tender age, mm. all of that was kind of like shut down. Because mm. London is... is um. It's yeah, bad dude. vibes. That's what I'm I say all the time. Sometimes. Like when I say about London, like I don't know if I could move here because it's just everywhere you go, everyone's just cold. I'm yeah, not gonna very, lie. Very cold and people distant. who 
or not from the north, like, is it really that much of a difference? It's like, yes, bro. Major. It is a big difference. Major. I don't think it's just, I don't know if it's necessarily just north or if you live in a smaller, like, because I grew up in like a little town mm. in Essex, which isn't too far from London. Mm. It's definitely not north, it's south, mm. but still, <laughs> people would, like, everyone does kind of know each other and everyone says hi or good morning. So you do yeah. have that kind of like vibe. But I guess the city, I mean, you're in Manchester now, but like cities do tend to be a little yeah, bit colder. Yeah, because people busy, busy, go, go. are, and, and it's so like one of the reasons I moved to London. London mm. from a little town is because I loved the fact that I could be anonymous. I could like reinvent myself because no one knew me. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody. I think, I think that's one of the appeals that I had down here in London. Mm. As much as I um, wanted to stay in North Lincolnshire and that, that was my whole life was there. Everything I knew. My boyfriend is up there as well because we were going to get married and everything. Of course. 12 year old me really believed that. Um, I think being in London, the opportunity to reinvent myself. Mm. Also, the opportunity to be around people that look like me was, was yeah. definitely a big factor. But it was that reinvention. It was that fresh start, which I think throughout many stages of my life, I've constantly had to do a little bit of reinventing somewhere. I like the idea of that. Yeah. Being a little bit new every, every now and then. Was there a particular turning point for you where your relationship with your body changed or you found like more acceptance? I, w I would say, I always say this, not in Hill Carnival. Not in Hill. Not in Hill Carnival because I went. <laughs> Baby. I went there um, the first. No, well, I've been there a few times when I was younger, but the first time going back, I went and did costume. I was on a float. Mm. And so, bodysuit, backpack, feathers, headdress, makeup. Mm. And of course, I can't wear jeans <laughs> or mm. leggings, which is what I was used to. It was legs out. So I bought myself some tights and we're dancing. We go past judging point. It was a success. Everyone's having a good time. I nicked my um, tights on something and it ripped. And I was like, oh my mm. God, the barrier between the world and my cellulite has been mm. broken. The, everything has come falling down for me in my head. And I, I, think I, I said to my friends, oh my God, my tights just ripped. What do I do? As if someone's gonna pop to Evans. That's the only place, <laughs> That's I, can get. Place, That's the only place I can get tights them times. As if someone's gonna pop to Evans on a bank holiday Monday. Yeah. And so you just had to keep dancing, but I noticed myself getting a little bit smaller and sort of instead of dancing along, I was just chipping along. Yeah. Then the other leg ripped, and I was like, okay, this is it now. The world has come That's to it. an end. I need to get back on the bus, drink my rum, and stay quiet. But I started to realise that no, no one cared. No one, no, 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 no one gave a shit. Um, this, this big. I, th I take a lot of things personally sometimes. Bless my heart. And I was like, oh my god, why is this happening to me? Why is my tights ripped? Like, <gasps> because I've been through so much. And now this. Do you know what I mean? And now this. Like, oh, no. I just, I just wanted to have fun like this. And it's just like. When you're not in Hill Carnival, there is no room for that emotion for longer than about six minutes yeah. before you either get bounced by someone or some guys asking you to dance. Because mm -hmm. I was in costume, there were photographers asking to take my pictures. And it was kind of like this moment of, oh my God, people still find me beautiful and attractive, even though, you know, they're just tights. Yeah. But my tights are ripped. Hold on. Hold on a minute. Have I been stuck in my head this whole time? Yeah, but I feel that because when I was younger, I would be like that as well. Like I, every time I went on a night out at uni, two pairs of black tights oh my God, and yeah. spandex and then my outfit on top not spandex what am I about spanks yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, like <laughs> the prime up version and then it's like I would never I would always wear pants I never got my legs out ever mm. I would always wear long sleeves I would never wear a vest or even even this short sleeve I would never it yeah. had to be like yeah, longer yeah, than this so. Isn't and it's it? like so many rules. Even with leggings, I wear two pairs of leggings all the time. In the height of summer, I'd be wearing all this. Like, yeah, two pairs sweating. of tights. Every day at school, two pairs of tights. Man's not hot. Man, <laughs> woman is very hot. And I think, <laughs> like, for me, uh, I was really flat chested. So I used to wear, like, two of those gel bras yeah, yeah, and yeah, then yeah, chicken yeah. fillets. So every day, even to the gym, I'd wear them because I was so, like, paranoid about having no boobs. And, and I was just like, and they ended up, like, rub, like, rub, like rubbing me and, like, giving me sores and stuff. It's. Cause it's it's crazy all those lengths that we go. Yeah. Bless our sweethearts for those insecurities, yeah. you know what I mean? But it's crazy all of the lengths that we'll go to just to, to hide that insecurity to then thank, thank God we all did one day realise I, I don't think it's that deep anymore. Yeah, it's not. I think I'm actually going to put on a normal training bra. Yeah. I think I'm only going to gonna wear one, one pair, pair of leggings. Yeah, one, <laughs> one pair of spikes or something. One pair of spikes. And actually, because I, think, I remember being in a relationship. I'm in a relationship. I've had sex with this person. I've laughed with this person. I've joked. This person seen me, I don't know, laugh and do a snot bubble. Like we've, yeah. we've, we've been to so many areas with one another. But why is it that when I came out of the shower in my own house, mm. 
in my own house. I came out of my shower and wanted to cream my body and I stood in the corner with a towel over my shoulders mm. trying to hide my body from my partner who was right there. He's been with me for a year and a half. And I, so I started to oh, oh, piece all these things together. That I just, I don't, I think this is too much effort. Yes. I think being insecure takes too much energy. Um, so before I did all the therapy and stuff, I just started to say, say to myself, oh, fuck it. Do you know what? You've seen me naked. Mm-hmm. I'm going to back off this towel right now. S- Ooh! <laughs> slap on that <laughs> shit butter. <laughs> and I'm going to get shit cracking. It really did. Probably <laughs> that- going to leave a little hamper yeah. there, actually. But- that was a real, a real slap. <laughs> no, but, right I feel that. But, I, but I had to just be like, But it's like, it's only, it's only when you push yourself out of these your comfort zone in these little areas. Like now, it, years ago, I would never dream of walking around in front of someone else naked. I'm the naked neighbour now. I love being naked. Oh, I'm yeah, I'm the naked, naked girl. Yes! I get out of the shower and I'm naked like, I don't care because it's like, if you don't like that, I'm not forcing you don't to be look. here. Yeah. Yeah. Eat. Like, yeah. if you don't fancy, if you're not attracted to me, when I'm just being myself, like, go. And I really feel like what most people don't understand is when you start to be more open and comfortable with yourself and put yourself out there like that, like even me just getting out of the shower and being in front of you naked, that's attractive to your partner because yeah, the confidence, confidence is, is the sexiest sexy. attribute. It's it's so not beautiful. if you've got big juicy tits or a big ass, what is attractive is your confidence yes. and how you carry yourself. That's what's beautiful. Mm. God bless all my exes. God bless my ex that we went on holiday to Greece. Shout out to my ex. <laughs> <laughs> you're really quick. See, the you're best. starting all the singing now. Sorry. Clara Come thinks on. me and Mojo sing all the time, but it's really you. Because you, you did so much earlier and got it out of your system. I know we now, did. I'm, <laughs> now, now, I'm now it's your turn. Um, we, went, we were on holiday in Greece. Beautiful weather. Time to go on a catamaran cruise or all around. Love those. Of whatever. She's in a bikini. Or two two piece and I don't know a little cover up. What did I come out in? A two piece bikini with a one piece on top mm. and a long cardigan. Mm, baby. Cardigan. A cardigan. <laughs> Not you know them, them thin knit ones. Yeah, yeah, like with, with the waterfall lapel. Oh. Oh. Yeah, major. Oh. T- <laughs> that is what a fashion <laughs> statement that is. It's the waterfall Not the lapel waterfall for me. Lapel. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, what the hell? You, what was going on? And the thing is, you end up looking more stupid doing that than look, if you would have just come just out in a bikini. bikini. Did did your <laughs> did your like fool. did your partner say like say anything to you? No, or kind of like you know, just try and reassure you. Or if I, do you know what? Bless her heart. I think she was confused. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think cause she must have said to herself, oh. So, just think, ah, oh, just ah, oh, she's she's insecure. I'm gonna let, do you know what I mean? Let her, let how her have you it. Help your partner though, like yeah. In that and I, and I, I think that just at that stage in my life, I was also very closed off, yeah, to ever being uh, honest and vulnerable about those insecurities. So I, I think it would have been nice maybe for her to say something to offer encouragement, but I think it was more to do with the fact that she could just sense I wasn't even there to yeah. receive yeah. it, and you. So it was just really weird. By the sounds of things, you wouldn't have been able to have a conversation at that no. time, or express or communicate no. what those insecurities were no. and why the. Waterfall lapel was, you know, was <laughs> no, so important no. to you. I would have got str- <laughs> <laughs> at that point. Uh, do you know what? when when you release this episode, yeah, I'm going to yeah. send you a picture. I'm going to send <laughs> you the picture. Yeah. picture because it really does Put just it screen. just looks like, huh? Because nothing matched, by the way. The <laughs> bikini was like a blueprint, and it was my girlfriend's who was sm- slimmer than me. Yeah, yeah. a black one piece and a khaki. Oh, wow. over, over mixing it up. Yeah, and real. We really went there. And how have things changed since then? Oh God, they have changed drastically. So, so Carnival, I think uh, Notting Hill Carnival happened actually after that yeah. holiday. Well, obviously that I'm talking about. So then I think our relationship became a bit more free flowing, but, but things ended. And that was when I began my journey on Instagram where I was actually just sharing myself dancing. I wasn't trying to be mm-hmm. a specific kind of representation. I wanted that, but I can't say it was like the main mm-hmm. goal. But the feedback was, oh my God, I love your body. Oh my, this is the representation that I needed to see. But I knew away from the camera, it still wasn't real. Mm. I still really didn't like a lot of things about myself. So then I was like, okay, if I'm going to be on social media, I've got to be honest and I've got to be vulnerable because I don't want to be that girl. There was a girl that I followed on Instagram. She slim waist, really big hips and whatnot. But I started to notice that the bricks behind her were also mm. curving. <laughs> and then when I met her in person, the waist was a little wider mm. than it was on Instagram. And I just took, rather than, you know, <laughs> yeah. judging her or cussing her, I just thought, what can I learn from that? Because I don't yeah. want to be that girl. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I never want anyone 
to be confused with what they see online. So how do I go about this honest journey thingamajig and bob bob? And yeah. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Thank God I ended up in therapy for other reasons. But I started to understand that the stories that I tell myself are what hold me back from embracing my body. Yeah. The other issues, the societal issues, they are very real and very true. But what really needed to happen was I kind of needed to let go of all the words that the bullies had said to me, family yeah. has said to me, ex-boyfriends, ex-girlfriends yeah. has said to me. And once I released that and healed from that, I was then, I think it was around 2020, around lockdown, mm. that I started to just explore experiment with my wardrobe and embrace my body and be like okay it's not a flat stomach but it's a stomach and you know what i'm gonna run with it i'm gonna rock with it because mm -hmm. uh, the, the arms could be smaller perhaps but they're not what are you gonna do about mm -hmm. it what are you gonna do but this is literally what we were talking about before it's like just because you don't wake up every day and love every single part of you doesn't mean you can't accept it and just be happy with who you are do your snaps at home everyone Snaps. Can you click snap, 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 snap. <laughs> So true. And I so think true. it's it, it's a deeper level, isn't it? It's a deeper level. The kind of acceptance, and we've spoken about this before, but it's like a foundation. Yeah. That foundation is there, and the old thoughts might creep in, yeah. or you might have a day where you don't feel as confident as normal, or you see things in yourself that you don't like. But ultimately, that kind of foundation of, what I would call itself love. I don't yeah. think it's like, but love and acceptance under kind of underpins everything else yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. and i think that's that's all you can really hope for because we're human we all have ups and downs and in and outs and backwards and forwards and good days and bad days and great days and amazing mm -hmm. days and awful days mm -hmm. but it's what you do as well like when you start thinking those thoughts and i think actually from speaking to you emma and speaking to you mojo that i know that you both have a level of self-awareness where you yeah. are consciously aware of what you're thinking and if you were thinking, like sometimes we have those thoughts, they come in and we might, you know, it might be like, oh, you know, I, I, I feel, I, you know, I feel really uncomfortable in this outfit today. Why do I feel uncomfortable? Oh, I think that like that my thighs look really big. Yeah, but that's probably my fault. I should have gone to the gym more. Why didn't I go to the gym more? Oh, I probably mm -hmm. shouldn't have eaten this. I pro and you go down a whole tunnel and every mm -hmm. single yeah. thought that comes with it makes you feel worse and worse and worse and worse. But if you can get some self-awareness around it, you can stop yourself yeah. after the first one, two or three thoughts. You don't go, go down that whole spiral. And from talking to both of you, I know that you have that. Uh, that's yeah. come from like practice, training, from therapy, mm -hmm. and from wanting to be different. Like you were saying, being insecure is fucking hard work. I think, it's yeah, so it takes effort. so much effort. To and be time. the same effort that you put into hiding yourself and making yourself smaller and diminishing yourself, you could be putting that into loving yourself and accepting yeah. yourself. And yeah, being on the journey you're on. You really have to. Like a pancake, you got to really have to flip like it. flip it, <laughs> yeah. you, and it's and it's it needs to be intentional. But you, but you also have to flip, like yeah. you have to flip. You have to get to the point where you're sick of being horrible to yourself, and you have to flip yeah. it. You have to start flipping those beliefs, sick right? Of shit. So I love the women. I love all of my followers, all of my supporters. But a lot of the comments that I get are, "Oh, I wish I had your confidence," mm. and I'm like, "Babes, number one, it's mine." Yeah, I'm very. Like, you can't. Do you know have what it. I mean? But also, you have it within you. 100%. That little tiny piece of confidence that allowed you to, I don't know, go to the shop, go to Superdrug today. Yeah. Work on that. Yeah. Work on the fact that you went out of your house and you put on some clothes. That's it. Start there. Yeah. Start and there. You don't, you're not going to walk out in a bikini tomorrow morning, hun. Yeah. But and work I, on it yeah. intentionally. I feel like it's. I think it's good for people to show who they are authentically and love themselves so that other people can see oh my god it is possible yes yeah. when people are messaging you like oh i wish i had your confidence i wish i was like that <laughs> i don't know what tangent i was going on but basically like you said that's already in yourself yeah. but you and also you I have feel, it I, I feel like it's like one of those things that when someone's saying that it's like you're not in your power you're not in your that's power so when you say, say that you're saying actually you have something that i can't have but people have to understand and i've said this before like whether it's me emma mojo all of us have been in that place before like i have been in a place where i hated myself mm -hmm. not just my body myself my person i hated me i hated me like, I hated me, and life was fucking brutal and hard and a mess and chaotic and crazy. And I know from, like, speaking to you guys that you have had, like, you know, your own challenges to overcome, and you've been in that space, like, that really low place where you feel like shit, but you managed to get here. And this mm. 
is a representation of what is possible yeah. for every single other yeah. person. Yeah. But it takes fucking work. But yeah. I think a lot of people are navigating from that place of lack. And mm. a lot of people, even though they say, oh, I wish I could have your confidence, they don't mean it. Do you want to do the work? If you wished you had it, you'd be doing it. Thank you. Yeah. You've got to do the work. Whenever I'm, when I'm, when I'm wearing a bikini or I've got my back fat out or I'm mm. not doing it, I'm doing it to show off because... I'm a hat girl mm -hmm. and I do hat shit. <laughs> but also, because I want you to go and do it. Yeah. I don't just watch me because yeah. I'm only one person with one set of following, mm -hmm. with one ideology. But if you watching my videos wear that backless top, mm -hmm. so will your auntie, mm -hmm. so will her work colleague, Literally. so will their sister. And, and that's how you spread it. Don't just... I mean, we're here encouraging you to be confident in who you are, but be, be go you. and do it. Go, You go and do that and, and that just, work. And it's to, so glorious when you do. Do that one thing and see that enough the world doesn't end. Implode. Does not end. And then you're like, oh shit. And, and can it's I just right. add, as well as, add, as well as that goes to your, like, your physical self, yes. I think about showing your authentic self as well. Like, yeah. And I think sometimes when people talk about confidence, it's not just the fact that, you know, that you, um, you might wear a certain outfit that, you know, that, that I guess people would say, society might say isn't designed for your body type or whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, go on. It's yeah. not that. What it is actually is that you're showing up as yourself as well and you're showing vulnerability. Both of you do that. Like, and I know that that's something really important for me, that we do talk about, like, hardships. We do talk about when we don't feel great. We do, you know, kind of show the hard sides of life. Like, you have lost your grandma, you've lost your grandma. Like, talking about oh, God, things yeah. in life that are hard and difficult. Talking about sex. Being fucking real. And, you know, I, I get it, especially as women. I think we grow up feeling like we have to be some kind of... You know, like this, hello, I'm a lady. We were talking about that, <laughs> that ladder to ladies thing yeah. earlier. You know, like they, and all of these things that we grew up seeing that are giving us this certain message, like you're not a lady if you don't act like this. You shouldn't enjoy sex too much, but you but you should enjoy it, but you shouldn't. Like all of these mixed messages, that it can leave you confused, like who yeah. am I? And sometimes I wonder if when people are saying like, oh, I love your confidence. Yes, it's because you wear what you want and you look fucking great in it, which is our whole point that confidence is fucking sexy. But it's also that you have the confidence to say, like, to open yourself up, as in emotionally mm -hmm. and authentically, and be vulnerable with people. And and a lot of people, mm -hmm. I didn't have that confidence for years. Yeah. I didn't. It's, it's a lot to, to open yourself up like that to criticism from people where you know mm -hmm. you don't have a right. stereotypically attractive body type. Mm -hmm. And right. you know people will be staring at you if when you walk out on the street in a tight dress or post yourself on Instagram in a bikini, but you do it anyway. And that in itself is very vulnerable to know that you're going to be criticised. But I feel like in the same breath, you're going to be criticised whatever the fuck you do. Yeah. Thank you. So you might as well just do something that makes you happy. I always say to myself, well, uh, people that wanted to do like be on be on a platform, have Instagram and whatnot. Oh, I'm scared what people might say about me. I'm like, babes, you're probably already in a group chat. Mm -hmm. You're already in a group chat. A group of people already don't like you. Yeah. What's, what's the point? What are you hung up on? And I think some people... It's it's more it's not just about wearing clothes and being in your body. How do you show up for yourself? Mm. That's what really matters. How do you encourage yourself? Mm. I definitely have put on an outfit in the past six months and been like, oh, mm. I don't know if this suits my body. I don't know. I don't know. Hold on a minute. Mm. I don't feel a way. Mm. And then I then I encourage myself. Yeah. But hold on a minute. But you look good. Change the bra. That's probably what you're having an issue with. <laughs> cool. Or boob tape. And I'm able to encourage myself out of it. And that's yeah. it's that self-esteem that people really sort of need to focus yeah. on because everything else is like a byproduct mm -hmm. of, of that. Being able to wear the bikini, being confident that you're single. Oh, whoops. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Um, <laughs> being confident that you're, it's, it's more about how you talk to yourself mm -hmm. the, and the words that you say to yourself. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, where the, that's where it is all birthed. Yeah, I think like the natural thing that a lot of people do when say you put on an outfit and you're like, oh, I don't like how that looks on my body. They blame themselves. Yeah, it's me. It's me. It's like, no, this is a piece of cloth. Yeah, like, you can't yeah. let that speak to yourself so yeah. negatively yeah. just because this piece of cloth you feel like it doesn't look nice on you. Like it's just so. But it's, it's all a um. It's all just. It's not real, anyways. It's all just made up. It's all like perception. Yeah. Yeah. All of that stuff. And when you start to pick it apart, and this is why I think like having that. Um, that self-awareness and being introspective and kind of like questioning your thoughts and you know asking yourself questions is really important because you get to like a place where you're like holy fuck like mm. I've been allowing this belief like you're talking about people feeling like you know I can't wear this people are going to look at me people are going to say negative things about me and like you say it doesn't matter who you are if you if you um, exist in any capacity yes. people whether you're online or not 
will say shit about you because yeah. that is in that's human, human nature. nature. Yeah. And at the end of the day, they might as well be saying shit about you because you showed up as yourself in the way that you wanted to rather than when you were, you're trying to, because I think I've done it. Like I've tried to be what I thought everyone else wanted me to be. And then I got to a point where I was like, well, well who that. actually am I then? If I, am I, am I'm trying to be this one? Cause that person says I should be, I'm trying to be like this. I'm trying to be like that. And then it's like, you lose yourself yeah. to trying to please other people. You cannot please all the people all the time. All the time. But Amen. What did I say to you the other day? So I posted a TikTok about um, my ex-boyfriend who passed away, right? Yeah, yeah. And I, I posted this TikTok because the way that I feel about like creating content is that I'm always honest about stuff. My mum died when I was a kid and no one was talking about grief. It wasn't spoken about. And I really feel like it should be a conversation that we can have openly and honestly. Also, I make a show about sex, which both of you have been on. Yeah. Because I want us to be able to talk confidently and openly and honestly about sex. So anyway, I posted this TikTok, which I made actually in this room. And I was just thinking it's going to get 10, 20,000 views. Like, you know, 99% of my videos do. No, it went viral. And, you know, there's like a lot of really like sweet comments. And then there was some really like horrible ones. And I messaged Emma and I was just like, I don't know if I can. It gave me su such bad anxiety. Like, and it's not because I believe what they're saying. It's not that. It's just that it's about something that's kind of like personal yeah. but but also it's just it, it's i don't know it's just like that kind of it triggered something in me which is kind of like a belief that i'm not a likable person or you know like that kind of stuff so we all still have things to work on and i think mm. hearing both of you guys like talk and seeing like how i deem you both as successful like you're very inspiring to me but i know that when it comes to like content like i showed you a video today where i was talking about my nipples like i hold back because i struggle with the adverse comments do you know what i mean like mm -hmm. i really struggle with them but i don't know anybody who whether they create um content about love and relationships whether they create content that's comedy whether they create content that's fashion that gets no yeah. <laughs> like negative response yeah. everybody does but i don't think anyone who does this as a job is void of them feelings that you're right. having like mm -hmm. i feel like everyone even if you're the most confident person Sometimes I'll get a comment and it'll hit you in the feelings and you're like, fuck, like, yeah. and it hurts your feelings. Like, there's whole threads out there. People will literally go on a thread on a, on a website. Somewhere. There'll be threads about me where mm. people, their sole purpose every day, they get on there and chat shit about me. Mm. But it's like, am oh I going to let that dictate my life? No. Yeah, I don't read can't. that shit. But I remember I read it in, in lockdown. Someone sent it to me. And I read it and that shit sent me into a spiral mm. for like two weeks. But it's like everything they're saying is fake and fabricated. They'll probably listen to this now. Hey, babies. Hey, you babies. mad. Thanks for you watching. Mad. Thanks for that view. Thanks but for that engagement. And all they do is like chat shit. But it's like, if I go on there and read all that shit, like, what's that going to do for me? Like, nothing. Yeah. Absolutely nothing. And plus, my mum always says to me, they don't know you personally. How can you take it personally? No, they can't How am I going to listen to someone slate me that doesn't even know me? Mm, like, yeah. fair enough if, if, if your mom. My friend or my mum or my dad are saying, you know what, I don't like how you do this. And what I'll listen to your opinion. When I don't know anything about you, I don't know you from Adam. That's my favourite saying at the moment. I don't know you from Adam. <laughs> and, and you're saying, she so this and she so that. I show you, like, you show this much of your life online mm. and people want to take what they want to take from it. And a lot of the time they're taking what they want to take from it from their own place of hurt and yeah, trauma and insecurities they have in themselves. Projecting. There we go. And that alone is the reason why I don't engage in anyone's opinion of me. Like mm. you said, unless it's from someone that really matters, that has yeah. input in my life and, and insight into who I am and how I might be going wrong. If someone directs all of that at me, I'm just like, okay, I don't mind being your online punching bag because yeah. I'm not going to respond to any of this mm -hmm. because you are that irrelevant to me. Yeah, and that's what I've tried to remind people when they're afraid to go out or do something or um, conversations with women that are like, Mojo, you seem like you have a really active sex life. I want to do this with my partner. But mm. I'm like, babes, do it anyway. If you're trying to, like, I don't know, base your life on how you think you're going to be received by your partner, maybe it's not the best relationship. Yeah, but, you know, maybe um, but we're taught that, aren't we? Aren't we taught that? Yeah. Like, that's important. And, you know, we don't want them to see us as too sexual. We want them to fancy us and want to have sex with us, but mm. we don't want them to see us as being, like, you know, really sexual. Like, we're the kind of person that's, you know, not just instigating sex, but we're the one that's maybe more sexual than they are. Mm. Like, and there can, I think that there's that kind of, like, when it comes to women and sex and shame and all of that stuff, there's a lot of stuff tangled up with that. Tied up in it that, like, sometimes I haven't even known how to navigate sex and my body like i feel like especially big girls mm. we're kind of taught to accept whatever sexual attention is offered politely offered to us and mm. i hate it 
I'm like, I hate like it. A, I'm supposed to feel flattered that you find me a fat girl attractive. Excuse me? In it. What? A way? Like we're not 10 out of 10 buddies. Do you know what I mean? On my worst day, I'm a 10 out of 10. That's one thing I always say to myself. On my worst day, I'm still a 10 out of 10. But I'm not going to, I'm not flattered. Uh-huh. I, not anymore, at least. Maybe back in the day, I did. I did get, oh my God, yeah. someone likes me. I can't yeah. believe it. I've got to hold on to this. Mm-hmm. And we sort of teach ourselves to accept these lowest. Bare minimum. The, thank you. The bare minimum. But now, no. That shit can't run around here. Mm-hmm. Period. <laughs> but I would say, like, it, it, I would say I've done exactly the same thing as well. Yeah. And, and and I guess like for different reasons, but you know the same kind of like, oh, if he if he likes me, I owe him kind of thing. That like, you know, if he shows me attention, then I probably owe him sex because yeah. he likes me. And there's, there's but I don't know how many people like. Uh, the thing is as well, like this podcast called Things I Wish My Mum Had Told Me, right? And. I'm not saying that I had like terrible parents. Obviously, we know that my mum died when I was nine, but my dad's not a bad dad, but no one was around giving me an alternative to that. Like no one was there to say, you know, as a woman, da 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 da, or you are like, you're beautiful and you can do anything, you can achieve anything, you don't need a man's validation. Like mm. I wasn't getting those messages and it doesn't mean that your parents, that they probably didn't get them either. They didn't know. And no. so even if you had like parents that were great parents, you can still have these kind of like, you can still have really, low self-esteem you could still be really unconfident you yeah. could still be seeking validation in places that aren't healthy because yeah. our, our bodies are, to, are we're taught to see our bodies as objects yeah as opposed to temples or yeah. this beautiful thing or and sex itself was always kind of described to me as something that uh not in terms of like assault but a man would take rather than like like that you would give yeah yeah like i'm not yeah that, I, that it's not this it's this wonderful thing. I was Someone always warned about you, men. Do you know what I mean? It. Or like, like it's or, something that's done to you, not something that you do together. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, I, I've, I've, I was never taught that, mm. and it was never like, like you said, my, my, my grandma did her absolute best to give me the birds and the bees talk, mm. but because she Safe was from sex though, and scare yeah, you and yeah. scaring, and you. that's all it did. Yeah. Or oh, I was just warned that um, by one of my aunties, Josie. Men would fondle your breast and leave you. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's not all they'll do, honey. <laughs> Is that it? And so I, I never thought that, no one ever taught me that, oh, your body's beautiful, or mm. you can experience pleasure mm. through sex. I, I didn't know that was a thing. If I'm yeah. honest, yes. I don't want to get too honest, but I didn't have my first real orgasm. <sighs> Go on. There's some women that I know who's never had an orgasm. Okay, until last year, March. Yeah, good, mate. And I just want to say, if you're watching this, thank you so much. <laughs> I think about you. All the time, I, when I go to sleep at night, I think Honestly, about you Honestly, like, f- I fully was moving like a crackhead. No, I get Wait, it. Can I say that? Can yeah. I say that? Okay. <laughs> I was fully moving like a crackhead. Yeah. You were like, addicted. Yeah. Addi- I, I, addicted I, I, or posted. I, I text her, like, ran- randomly. So you've never so given yourself an orgasm either up until Oh, that. okay, sorry. From a person. Oh, from right, someone. Right, oh, right, my God. Right, okay, yeah, I've had an orgasm. But, like, from a Done oh, sorry. From a no, but let me reminisce because I'm going to leave it, this episode and just float away. It wasn't until I started having sex with women that yeah. I had my first orgasm like during sex. Oh my god, it's the best, right? Oh, I just want to hold onto this microphone and lick it like it's a clip. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. No, but seriously, Ding! orgasms. I, like I can't. I haven't had sex with a woman, so I'm just like. But it's because I, like, I don't. I don't find women sexually attractive like I wish I did I feel like it's a curse you know I feel like it is a curse to it's, only it's, find men so attractive not it's even, not fair not even like a woman eating you out like, I don't know no I don't I don't like if I look down if I yeah yeah maybe yeah. <laughs> but who's offering let's go no, I mean <laughs> only Taxi? fans you, uh, okay yeah let's let's do it flip a coin who goes first <laughs> <laughs> thanks guys I feel so special right now <laughs> <laughs> No, but like, yeah, it wasn't until because I can't have like penetrative orgasms. Not really. Like, I don't know. It's a bit mad. It's a bit mad because I, like, I think though, I think you shouldn't say I can't to anything because yeah. I would have said that I'm I couldn't, in and then I would say oh. now that I can. <laughs> Got to manifest I can, out of that. Like, babe. I can squirt from penetration with nothing on the clit. Yeah, but like, if, like the same. F- I can have like some a very overwhelming feeling from penetration. Yes, but like it's not the same as a clitoral orgasm no. for me. Like because clitoral orgasm, like I look like I'm having an exorcism. Listen, like, the oh body is shaking. It's so It's like goes on for like it? a minute. <laughs> like yeah. She when she I had the orgasm. Yeah. And then like we laid for about an hour and 
all I remember saying to her is, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I remember saying. And even when she left, I had things to do. I had content to record. I had places like to, I didn't do a damn mm. thing. And what was really funny was that my neighbor came up to me afterwards and just gave me a hug. And I was like, oh my God. Fuck off. Winston well, heard everything. Yeah. Fuck Winston off. heard. Because he literally ran up to me. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> and gave me this tight hug. And I remember thinking, what, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? Oh I had no orgasm. Oh my god! 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 Because it was probably the first time even he'd heard that. <laughs> that is so funny. Orgasms oh. for the win. Oh, well, my, my neighbor Defo heard me. Oh me. yeah. Bro, I love that. Oh, no. I was door with my open. um, I was with my ex-boyfriend. Not the not uh, Nathan who passed away, but okay. one before that, and um. We were at his flat and like, I I've, I guess I, I don't even think I'm noisy, but I probably am mm. really noisy. Cause when you're in the moment, you're not thinking about the noise <laughs> no. you're making, right? And then there was this like, bang, 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 bang on the door. And he opened it and his neighbor, the woman went mental. And she's like, my child is sleeping Fuck next door. Off. Like going mad. She, who is that woman screaming? Like, <laughs> I was just so like, <laughs> I was mortified. I love when people like, do that. I, I can't do that. <laughs> I was just like, oh, oh my, how loud you must you have been? <laughs> Damn, he was doing something right. Just, it was good. It was <laughs> yeah, that, that I, I am quite, I think, like, I'm not consciously aware of how noisy I am, but I am, I am noisy. Yeah. I'm noisy, yeah, I'm extra. Noisy. I'm giving a performance. Yeah. Like, obviously, I'm enjoying it. It's not, but I just mean, I like to be vocal. Yeah. Have you ever, so you see how, like, so I'm quite performative, right? Yeah, same. But has it ever landed you in a place where, the sex actually isn't that great, but your performance is. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not... Okay. We've, you know, spoken about, speaking bad, about, like, yeah. faking orgasms and, you know, kind of bigging up the game. Uh, we, actually, we bumped into a relationship um, expert earlier today, and she was talking yeah. about this, that she's worked with both men and women, because sometimes, like, uh, she was talking about the fact that women are in relationships. They might have been in relationships for a while... And they were, they haven't been truthful. They haven't been honest mm. about the sex that they've been having. Mm -hmm. And she was saying, like, some of the guys are like, I know. I know that it's not truthful. Oh. But when I've asked her, she hasn't told me what she wants or whether it's good or whether I'm pleasing her. She's got honey iced make, tea. That almost makes such, like, a a thing in their head. We're like, what else are you lying about? If you're lying to me about this, it must oh create, gosh, like, a distrust in the whole wow. of their relationship. But it's, it's, it's like we're, it's like men and women, like, we're missing, because, you know, I think... I think the majority of guys really do want to please women and, you know, kind of make sure that women are having a good time. But a lot of them have got their education through porn. And, you know, a lot of them think that <coughs> women only have two holes. So down there. So we're already at a loss because sex education is rubbish. Mm -hmm. And if you're getting your sex education from like heteronormative porn, then uh -uh, you're going to be getting it yeah, wrong yeah, pretty much yeah. the whole time. And a lot of women are watching that as well. So we don't know. Like yeah. you said, you were never taught about pleasure what your body can do, the clitoris, like any of that stuff, you were just taught about safe sex. So then if you watch porn and you're like, oh, well, surely I should be doing that. Yeah. I should be making those noises. I should mm -hmm. be making those faces. I should be pretending I'm having a good time. Then that's what you think sex is. And yeah. that's, that, that then becomes how you make it. Once you've done that 10 times with someone or even two times with someone, how are you now going to be like, oh, actually? Oh, uh, not, yeah, I've, it's not really has, hitting. Has anyone ever had that? I've never had, got there to have that conversation where the sex isn't, Pleasing me? Um, Can we change things up? Yeah. Oh wait, have I don't I? Know, have I? I have. I think okay, I just, once. I'm done Twice. with this. I'm, if it ain't pleasing me, I'm kind of done with it. Like I've had the conversation of like, I we need to be having more sex. Oh Sounds yeah. Very demanding. <laughs> but I just mean like we need more. No, but it's just like <laughs> give me more. It give wasn't, me there more. was no problem with the sex. The sex was real good, but it just. Would enough and i'm not saying that every fucking day i just mean like you know once or twice a week but, can i yeah, just ask that's, a question that was from someone i was seeing like, i was seeing him a lot like i might see him like four times a week we might have sex once so i'm like come on we gotta do a bit more oh yeah this. we gotta do it i'm 26 more. yeah i still got um like, high sex drive libido yeah. Yeah. but can i ask you a question would do you give oh, someone God. feedback during sex yeah. Like about whether they're going too fast or yeah. slow oh, it down yes. or oh, not that deep yeah, 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 yeah. or like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, any of that, or you want to change positions. Hand. Yeah. Or move their hand or slow their hand down. Yeah. Or, yeah, but the, the worst do. one for me is like, you know, um, the, like the, <laughs> stop on the clip. Stop doing that. Yeah. What, what's, what is yeah. happening? And what then you say that. then you say to them. you need to go in like a, but then you say, can you slow it down and, and not do it so hard. And then five seconds later, yeah, I've been there, done that. Oh. It's trauma, trauma. Or like this. <laughs> or if it's like fingers, it's like. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, like, no, Ow! you've got. A, yeah, yeah. I don't I've, think a lot of people know how to finger. Like, and that's what's. No. I hate that because I love a good finger. Yeah. And it's just not a lot of people know how to do it 
well. They just had to jab. Slow, like, we're, we're, shit, to learn, like really. we're not in the rave. Yeah, we're not in the rave. <laughs> not gum fingers in the rave. <laughs> gum fingers in my first day. <laughs> That's a new song for you, Clara. <laughs> <laughs> there we gum go. fingers in my pussy. <laughs> oh, come on, let's record it. <laughs> I'll write the rest of the lyrics. Yeah. So I'll come back to you. <laughs> we'll get on it tonight. We got this. We got this. Um, yeah, but I, no, I hate that. And my biggest one, mm. I can't see. Oh, it just gets me so fucking hot yeah. and angry, right? When you're having sex with a man and they're on top of you and they're fucking you, but it's like, like, like fast. Like, they call it Jack Cameron, right? And it fucks me off even more, yeah, when you've got length. You have length, but you're giving me two inches. I want the full length, but oh. you're deciding to give me like, you're deciding to hump me like a rabbit when I know you're packing the length. So what is going on here? Maybe. I'm a slow stroker. Mm. I mean, I, I'm a oh, lot. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, okay. I'm a passionate. I don't know. I like it all. I like it all, but no, same you time, know like, what my one is. My hate is. Ready for it? Are you ready? Oh god, the tongue. <laughs> oh, tongue. what is that? <laughs> oh my god, I've had heads like that before, and it's that. awful. <laughs> it's fucking <laughs> awful. Because I'm like, why are you? Why are you afraid, bro? In what it? do you think's gonna happen? Do you, do you, do you have pep talk? <laughs> 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 woogie woogie. I actually want my vagina to be able, my vulva to be able to do that. Like, what's, that <laughs> what's that thing on Harry Potter with the book? And they're like, it's at the bottom of the bed and it's like, it's a little fairy book. You're oh, no, you're talking, no, you read Harry Potter. About, not, you know about. exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, yeah, so why don't don't you, you will happily grab my head and push oh. it down. Oh. Like, and you love fucking people's faces. Uh. Let me fuck your face, fool. In it. Let me do Get it. Get all up in this. Yeah, yeah. no, I can't. It's, it's like, if you're going to be shy about, about it. if you're going to be shy about eating the puss, don't, don't do bother. it. Yeah. Because I want you. Yeah, yeah. I would love like that you don't. Peach. Eat me like a burger. Yeah. 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 Like I a five guys one that's got like bear oh sauce on it. Oh my God. Like, so like, I mean, oh. all the juice, and that like, as well. Yeah. You've got your yeah. beard, babes. But if it's, when it's all, sorry. No, not this. <laughs> I'm a Scorpio, guys. So sometimes oh I'm just getting a little horny. I've got two Leos, a Scorpio, and I'm a cancer. cancer. Emotional. Yeah, you're I'm the, the balance between the two. So we're the horny fox. Yeah, so that's we're the my horny song. Fox in the you're the horny Oh, song. um, I'm horny all the time. Did you just make that up? Yes, I yeah. did. Oh. No, we're going to do that. Pussy fairy on the way. Oh, yeah. I know you love fucking me. Is yeah. that the same song? Yeah. There's two, though, isn't there? Because it's the slow one. I can't wait till you come over. No? I'm not so... But you know what? I'm going to do all the singing. Oh, I The Pussy know. Fairy with yeah. the Mila J. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, Pussy these fairy two musicos over here are really getting into it now. <laughs> um, <laughs> my show. But <laughs> while she's... <laughs> While she's doing this <laughs> over there, um, sorry, listeners, I'm, I was just uh, showing my nipple to the, so um, to the camera. Confused. Yeah, sorry, yeah. I was just the showing my nipple to the camera. And if you would like to see that footage, you can sign up to my OnlyFans. <laughs> sign up to our Patreon. <laughs> yeah, so um, sign up to my Patreon. Yeah. Um, I'll, the details are on my Instagram. Okay, thanks. thanks for that. Shameless plug. Go for it. You do it. Aqui Mojo. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, if you just a public service announcement, PSA or whatever you call it, if you're not going to um, get, properly give head, just don't bother. Don't yeah. do that little. Don't bother. <laughs> Please. Tongue thing. And also, Jesus what was the one you said? If you're going to do like two or three minutes, don't. Oh just don't. my fucking god, no Mojo. Point. It's I a pointless story. exercise. So. Oh my god. Right. Pointless what exercise. To you? Twice. What happened to a lot has happened to me, baby? What well, for sorry. instance? Okay. <clears throat> so one of the men on the roster the other day was like, um, I was like, oh, I'm going to be in London, whatever, whatever. I was like, oh, shall we go get some food? And he was like, you know what? I just want to stay in, order some food and eat your pussy all night because I didn't get to last time. Because last time I saw him, I was on my period, right? Okay. So um, I was like, ooh, got to the house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Came over to the house. I'm feeling so cute. Get there. <laughs> Dog. So then we're, you know, we were watching a bit of, of a film, kissing. Mm-hmm. Start kissing. I thought, mm. she was like purring, meowing. I thought, yeah, let's go straight to the bedroom because uh-huh, I'm uh-huh. ready to get eight. Yes. Boom. Let scared. down. Starts eating. No, don't be scared. He's got it eating. Okay. Like, so he started eating it. Right. And I was like, ooh, I was enjoying myself. Tell me why. Like, because when we get on the bed for him to even start eating it, he offs his pants. Right, mm. so as we're like, I take all my clothes off, lie on the uh-huh. bed. Um, but he's like, took he's like bottom half naked with the top on, right? And 
goes down there, starts eating it. And I'm like, oh, it's really good. Uh-huh. Maybe like two minutes in, he like comes up and is like kissing me. Uh-huh. And he should have like, got his head. He's going to stick it in. <laughs> like he's going to stick the pee-pee in. Uh-huh. I need to not call it a pee-pee. No, that's a bit so weird. he's going to stick it in. I can feel it. And I was like, mm mm mm. I was like, no, no, no. You said, you, what about you eating it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Like, Get back to dinner. He was like, just a little bit, just a little bit. So I thought, oh, fine. Puts it in. It wasn't just a little bit, babe. We fucked. And that was like the whole, the whole nine. That was, was it. it. Done. So I got like two minutes of pussy eating. And he had the audacity to be like, I want to eat your pussy. I want to eat your ass. Every, sorry, mom, if you're listening. I'm going to eat your ass, blah, blah, blah. Did my ass get eaten once? It didn't even get touched. And I washed it pristinely. <sighs> <laughs> you could eat your fucking dinner off that arsehole, <laughs> bro. I'm you didn't even so get touched. Sorry. Didn't even why get did they do that? Why did they do that? I don't understand why you Selfish. lied. Why are the lies for? Because I was like, I would have come over and we would have chilled and had sex anyway. But why are you but lying I, to me? Why, why do you have to get my hopes up? Why are you always like, lying? I haven't had some like Stop good long head lying. in a while. Oh. Mm. I, was, I haven't had like a good long session of someone mm-hmm. eating it for a while. Mm. Like it's always that little five minutes before we start fucking. Like no, sometimes I need the women back wait, in my life. Wait, I'm sick of these men. I'm <laughs> sick of. But wait, I'm for my no, life. no, 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 no. It's not just that because there was this one time. At band camp, no, I'm joking. I wasn't at band camp. <laughs> a couple of years ago, like I'd come out of a relationship, like I, I think, and I hadn't had sex for like six months or something. This is how most of my stories at the moment start. It's, you know, been a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And I um had like a, I was on holiday, like met this guy, and I was like, look, I don't, like, I don't want to have like sex. I don't want to have mm. sex. So he was like, okay, like I'll just let me give you head. So I was like, cool, and he did, and he did just do that for three days straight. <gasps> Uh, not, I mean, not non-stop for three days straight. That would be oh. a bit much. We did go on breaks and stuff. But I mean, like, at, to the point of orgasm, like, every single time. Yeah. And then on the fourth day, I was like, yeah, now I want to have sex. So, you know, like, some guys will put in the work. And that's, we're talking about, like, half an hour, mm. maybe, you know, like, 40 minutes or so. Yeah. yeah. Put it, like, but really good. Yeah. An incredible But orgasms. those men are rare. I'm so happy mm. for you, by the way. Thanks. And my condolences. <laughs> 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 not my condolences. My, cause you, Wait, sorry, because it got a few days it got eight. It got eight. So don't uh, worry about okay. It. Okay. Go. 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 <laughs> Not about him, but you know. Uh, okay. That, that's fine then. Okay. She got some, so it's mm-hmm. cool. But those guys are so rare to find. Mm. Uh, yeah, yeah I agree with you. It's not every guy, oh, but I'm just saying, like, you know, if I think about my like the best experience of yeah. like of head, it would be you know that now, experience. Now, now, now I let guys know that that's my thing. Yeah, yeah. but it has like, to be. That, like that's that that's my thing. Like that is my thing. Like, like it has you, to be you, a guy. Yeah, you can't. Huh? Go on. It has to be a guy where. Or, or a girl, someone that really enjoys giving pleasure, yeah. or else it ain't gonna work because they're gonna be doing it for five minutes and then they're like, oh, I'm bored. like, I very much enjoy giving head. Yeah. So I don't mind doing that for half an hour, what not? Do you know what I mean? Because I'm enjoying Slap it. Slap on my nerves. Whereas, Sorry. like, <laughs> whereas <laughs> with some people who, who are not asked about it, it doesn't turn them on, they don't wanna do it. And that's just gonna be shit. Yeah, but then I think you've got to find someone who's compatible with you, right? Like, and that's that's the truth. If you want to have like good sex, and I think sometimes that's the problem. If you're like having casual sex with people, there's not as much investment, and mm-hmm. someone can be like, and I think like when people are messaging, you know, like some, when you're in that space, like you're horny and you're messaging someone, you probably at the time do think you want to do it, and then they're there in front of you, your dick is throbbing. I can only imagine <laughs> I don't have one, and <laughs> and and you're just like I like I I can't wait, I kind of thing. It. I want to do it, and. This is not to say that they don't care about you or anything like that, but it's probably not the same way that they might be in a relationship with someone that they, you know, that yeah. because it's both of you are there for more yeah. of a casual, like, f- uh, f- physical thing. And so your pleasure, not that, I don't think it's from the sounds of this guy, it's not, it wasn't important to him at all, mm. but also his pleasure was important to him. Yeah. And I think that like, if you find someone with whom you're compatible and you yeah. both enjoy the same stuff, so like they enjoy pleasure in you and you enjoy pleasure in them, that's what makes for the best yeah. sex. Winning combo. And I think more more than more often than not, some women, bless us, some mm-hmm. people, bless us all, get get too comfortable in the in just being okay with it and just sort of being like, okay, it's not that great, but we can work on it. Don't work on it. No. Not all the time. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it is worth it, but mo- nine times out of ten it's not. Find mm-hmm. someone that's that's truly, like you said, mm-hmm. compatible and yeah. can meet all and is willing to mm-hmm doesn't need to be encouraged or persuaded mm. to meet all of those sexual needs because nine times out of ten women are down for most stuff yeah. anyway do you know what i mean so, like don't don't settle for a man that's just gonna and 
And I also two think, minutes. I also think on that, like, yeah, give two minutes. They might not be the best, and I definitely think sex can get better. Like with yeah. people that you, that you can feed back to and say, can we try this? Like, can you do it like this? But they have to be willing in the first place and they have to have that desire to want to actually like please you. And I think when you're with someone like that and you're also that type of person, it's, that's, you know. And you know what, sort of like bringing it, what's on the same track, but bringing it back to body confidence. The mm. more you value that body and like really enjoy yeah. your body and believe that your body deserves pleasure mm-hmm. the less you will settle for those guys anyway they will fall away I've, yeah. I've kind of noticed that myself before when I didn't really like myself I would just I would settle for just any kind of sex because it was a cheeky bit of intimacy yeah. cured the loneliness for the night and you know hey ho wasn't great but I had zero an eighth of an orgasm and I can run with that yeah. but now that I like myself more and I believe that I deserve pleasure I'm, I'm I don't know like, like my antennas are up yeah. <laughs> and, and I, I can sense okay you know you're, you're not really into this is, yeah. is that Fuck also off. because <laughs> on your bike mate <laughs> sorry is that also because you've had like an orgasm with a partner now as well your your standard is up here like oh my God, whereas yeah. before you didn't know how good it could be Base? So the now benchmark you know. was in the basement. Yeah. Mm. I was in the basement. Someone asked the me gutter. <laughs> someone asked me what the rom- most romantic thing a guy had done for me was, and I was like, oh, I don't know. Roll me a spliff and gave me his jacket to go shop. <laughs> <laughs> what a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> the base the, the, the benchmark was on the floor, but you're, yeah, now that I've had these better experiences, it raises the standard. So I, I want more women to love their bodies, number one, and raise that standard because when you change the benchmark, everything else. Mm everything else just slowly starts to get better. I've had the best sex in the past six years, despite mm. having had a lot of sex when I was... Yeah, no, <clears> that's, that's the same as well. <coughs> younger. Yeah, yeah, my sex when I was younger was dead. Because I wasn't enjoying it, because I yeah. wasn't... It was all a performance. I'm there like, oh, I'm moaning this at me, but bro, what am I feeling? Nothing, I'm feeling nothing. <laughs> oh my God, I'm, I hadn't had it, like... I, Never had an orgasm no. partner. Never even thought it was possible. Oh, I, I would just go, huh, 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 okay, <laughs> just because, because that's all I've seen in porn. Yeah, right, and I thought I also thought sex was meant to be, was this beautiful dance. I didn't realize how messy it really is. Yeah, meant and to get. embarrassing and funny right? and all of that stuff. It is because the human body. I give a giggle during sex. Yeah. Like just, <laughs> it's the I best. Love that. It's the best. Like mm. we're both fucking going at it, and then if it's one of them that's like something happens. That's such an intimate moment. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Like, it's one thing being intimate with someone like with your body and being naked and having them inside you or whatever yeah. but it's another thing to have that true be safe actual deep intimacy safe like yeah, yeah. Safe, feeling secure safe. Yeah. that's a that's different is, level yeah. of yeah. intimacy it's, it's, it's just it's it's safety is. yeah i feel safe to be silly in this moment that you're not gonna when, look yeah weird yeah or. when you're anxious you kind of take sex quite seriously yeah you yeah. Do, yeah. yeah. Like it's like, oh wait, am, am I am my hips moving right? Yeah. Am I riding right? Okay, no, my left knee, fuck, okay. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna, 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 oh my god, <laughs> shit. But but then <laughs> when you feel sa- like feeling safe somewhere, especially as a big girl, mm. so as having sex with a girl, oh my god, trying to scissor when you're big is <laughs> It's so funny. It's, not it's so funny, bro. And the way because the way my vagina set up is not happening, you know bro. Get... My friends laugh at me, you know, because I've got a really small clitoris. It's like we call it a Do little you? lentil. Oh my god, so it do don't I. stick out, but it's flat as fuck. It's just it's, it's just it's, it's just flat. Tucked away in there. It's there. It's so small. Do you know what I mean? She's a dainty little girl. Literally, lentil clit. That's me. Sorry. Um. That's fine. No, now my hands are gonna stop calling me lentil. No, no, no. Lentils are good, you know. They're full of protein. Yeah, good for you. go. Very p- consider I'm a big girl. I got a petite clitoris. You know I, what just, I, I, I quite like that about my vagina. Yeah. Congratulations. We probably have the same one. Yeah. Twins. 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 Vulva twins. Um, what, 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 I don't know how we got here. I don't know. Vagina. Oh, right. Scissoring as a big girl. Scissoring. Scissoring as a big girl. Yeah. So being able to like be safe with someone. Mm. I've tried to scissor and it go horribly wrong. And you can f- throughout the sex, you could just feel that we were both ashamed. Oh no. <laughs> our, our, That's the worst. Yeah, I mean, it just kind of got awkward. It wasn't as fulfilling. Mm. But then in a relationship where I felt safe enough yeah. to like sort of figure out whose leg goes all the way you back the over one there. In between. Do you know what I mean? Which leg's gonna stay down and crossing over which leg because this like le- da, 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 mm. and being able to just sort of giggle in that moment. And then get to it, and then we we achieved, we assumed the correct position, and things got to happening. Um, yeah. Scissor started scissoring, but it was really nice just to to understand what it meant to be safe. Mm-hmm. I guess I could I couldn't even put a word to it until you said that. I felt safe enough yeah. 
to do that. And I think a lot of that, again, comes from all of that internal work and just believing that you like yourself enough to be like, well, if this person really didn't like me, I don't think they'd be here in this moment doing this exact thing with me. But also, yeah. I guess when you when you start to like yourself, when you realise that someone doesn't have your best interests at heart, then that's when you're just like, do you know what, I'm not going to, I don't want to keep people like you in my life. I don't want to keep someone who, like, if you just see me as like a way to masturbate in a body or whatever, like however you want to say it, then... Mm-hmm. Like, th- this is not going to work because I love and respect myself. So if you don't love and respect me, then this isn't going to work. Yeah. Not necessarily in love with me. But if you don't have that kind of appreciation and respect for me, then just no. I think you need to have a lot of self, you need to have a lot of self-awareness to be there. Yeah. No, and don't get me wrong. It's taken time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, for other other people, that, that Sorry, mentality. Sorry, I thought all about me. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. But that mentality that is so beautiful requires a lot of, self-awareness yeah. and without that self-awareness it's very very difficult to find those root those truly fulfilling relationships or just or just a sexual relationship that kind of actualize all those desires but that, that you have with that self-awareness a little bit like i guess we, we were all saying about confidence is that kind of idea that actually that's down to you like that self-awareness is down to you no one yeah. else can do it for you it, when you get to a point where you're like why do i keep doing the same thing over and over again why do I keep, and people will be like, why do I keep attracting the same people? It's not necessarily mm. you're attracting them, it's you're allowing them in. Everyone's attracting them. It's just some of us have put boundaries in place. And Thank I didn't you. used to have those boundaries. Yes. It was just like, yeah, yeah, someone likes me, someone finds me attractive. Yeah, cool. This is this is the way it's going to be. This is going to go down. But then you start to have this kind of like, no, actually, I don't have to accept that. And I, yes. you know, this is what I want and this is what I need. And do you want to, you're going to offer that to me? No, you're not. Okay, cool. Let's keep it moving. And then you yeah. start to put boundaries in place. But again, it comes from wanting something different. Yeah, and truly wanting it, not wishing for it, no. not commenting on someone's page. Oh, I wish I had what you yeah. had. I understand why it happens, but you have to truly like desire it for yourself. And I, I used to, I stopped. Um, I'd always say, "Why do I attract this kind of people?" Until I started to ask, "Why do I entertain them?" Mm-hmm. Yeah, good and bad come That's all the I time. Get, I get mad at myself, you know, when I keep give people second mm. chances and they fuck me over again. I think I don't get mad at them. I just think. You fucking idiot. <laughs> Look what you've done. I just get mad at myself because I'm like, well, you already knew this was going to yeah, happen. So. Yeah. But I think, and I said this to you, that you will repeat the same things over yeah. and over again until you learn the lesson. I was entertaining the same guy for seven and a half years. Like, that's mm. a long space so, of yeah, time to be entertaining minute. someone. I mean, to be fair, like, he'd be gone for six months, he'd be gone for a year, but he knew that any time he wanted that he could, like, he knew what to say. He knew, like, yeah. and I would be available. And, you know... It took, uh, and I couldn't, I, at that time, I could not ever see how I could, you know, say no to it. Like, I couldn't, because I really thought I loved him. You know, it wasn't, that was not love. That was not healthy. It was so toxic. Mm. But it took, uh, repeating that same pattern so many times. My friends must have been like, you sick of it. Not again, again. not again. But I kept doing it and kept doing it and kept doing it. And then I was like, till I got to the point where I was like, no, hi, it's me. I'm the problem. Like, Taylor's just like, that's it. Final straw. What was the final straw in that situation? Like what made you think, yeah, I'm done with this now for real? The final straw, I think the final straw was, like, basically, he, what would happen is we'd be dating exclusively, yeah. but he'd always be sleeping with other people. So I'm like, well, it's not yeah. exclusive anyway. Then we find out, then we'd stop speaking for a while, then he'd come back, or I'd go back to him, or whatever it would be. Um, and then I think we had an, I think the final straw, the first final straw was, because there's been a few, um, the first final straw that changed everything was when, after a year of us not speaking, he was like, right, that's it, I know what I want, I want to be with you, like... I love you. I know it now, and I like. I've wanted to hear that for years. At this point, so I was like, "Yeah, great." Um, so we started dating, and it was fine, like really good for the first three months or so, and then it gradually started to go downhill. And this was when I was looking into having my mastectomy, and I went to the hospital to have my first ever appointment. My best friend came with me. He didn't even offer. He didn't text me. Didn't call me. Didn't hear from him. And what he did at that point, which was normal for him, is he would push me to a point where he was acting so shitty that I would finish with him so it was never on him and that's I I was waiting I was was just like do it do it do it and he ended up going like to to Ibiza um and yeah and basically we finished just before that and then he um yeah when he was there he slept with someone that we both worked with so that was like oh that was great and that made things a little awkward so there was that final straw and then um about two years later I went traveling and we were in the same part of the world at the same time right at the start of my travels and I met up with him we slept together and I was like, I feel nothing. Like the feelings that I had, that that kind of like, I love you is gone. Like I've changed enough and yeah. it's just gone. And I was like, wow, like I'm free. It's finally over. Having said that, fast forward to um, 
the end of last year that he was like uh, c- like kind of came back and I'm like right he's I'm like I've been through therapy I've done this I've done that like I'd really like to spend some time with you and so I did like nothing physically happened apart from a bit of kissing yeah. um but what I realized really quickly is that he might have had some therapy but he still wasn't emotionally mature and he still wasn't mm. ready for me and I, but I was able to just say this isn't going to work yeah, like that's this. it this isn't going to work you know, both of us are like, this isn't going to work because I'm going to ask more of you than you can ever give me. Yeah. And when you don't, I'm not going to stand for it like I did in the past. I'm just, it's just not going to work. And that was it. That's the end. And, and it feels like it feels like, and that's that's 10 odd years, but it feels like it's done, so done. The closure mm. that has come from that last experience is just incredible. Like yeah. it's done. It's done. Uh, like after all of that magic spell because I think the biggest thing that comes from that that's been reinforced and reinforced and reinforced is I was never a problem it wasn't me and the reason that I chased him for all of that time is because what's wrong with me why aren't I good enough why don't you want to be with me like what's wrong with me and I made it about me it was never about me it was about him yeah and this time around where I'm in a completely completely different space I could so clearly see the issue wasn't me, it was him. Like, he's mm. not capable of, like, the emotional maturity or the, like, of love. Like, he's still got a lot of work to do on himself. And if he chooses to do that, which I h- really hope he does, he'll have incredible relationships and he'll be a great partner. But if he doesn't, he won't. And that's nothing to do with me. And I do think, just to add to that, finally, like, I always say we're like onions. So it's like, you have a realisation at one level or you work on something at one level and you think, yeah, I've got it now, yep got it I've, I've dealt with that <laughs> and then boom something, something triggers happens, it yeah. and it you'll work on it at a deeper level and yeah. like for me that those three incidences are three levels of closure to the point yeah. now where it's like whoosh, done 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 well do you know what time it is clara no what time is it does mojo know what time it is what time it is i don't know what time is it what time is it mr wolf it's so, 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 saucy secrets time. It's time for ah! Saucy secrets. Herbal essences. Saucy secrets. Saucy secrets. The secrets and the saucy. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, I okay. put out a poll on Instagram, a little okay. saucy secret poll. And the poll was simple. The poll said, What's your biggest ick? Okay. Okay. Do you have a big ick? Do I have a big ick? Like, yeah. What's your biggest ick? My, one of my biggest icks yeah. is like, Jacked up teeth. <laughs> mm. I've got those. <laughs> nah, babes. Nah, nah. I'm talking about, you know, like when they open their mouth and you sort of go, ooh. Oh, at all. Ooh. Ooh, yikes. Ooh. Jump scare. I just can't do it. Do you mean like in a, rom- in a romantic partner? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't. I didn't realise that until it happened to me. But some, mm. some ex, <laughs> and I was like, like, ooh. Ix can be really weird and obscure, can't they? Like someone's ick, you can just be like, sorry, what? Why is that an ick? Um, oh, there's people. some of them in here. Oh. Yeah. Don't you worry about oh, that. Oh, okay. maybe mine wasn't an ick, but... My first ick and the icky. first one that I've got here is long fingernails on, on a man. Mm. I find that so icky. But I also find really bitten fingernails. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Bitten down fingernails. Oh, yeah, no. No, no, no. Why are you doing that? Oh, I don't like that You're one. anxious, baby? Mm-mm, yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so I'm going to read you some of people's biggest icks now. Go. When a group of guys celebrate by jumping up and down together. <laughs> what? When a group of guys celebrate by jumping up and down together. That's imagine, a ick. imagine if she went to watch a football game. Oh right? my god. That's days. it. She'd be she'd literally cr- cr- it, curl it, up it, in a ball. It, 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 all over the gas. She'd feel itchy up on the inside out. Guys that comment on celebrities' Instagram posts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ick. Uh, why? Why are you doing that? Do you know Kim Kardashian like that? Allow it. <laughs> Commenting gorgeous. Hot. Really? Really? Sorry. Well, it's yeah. worse when they do a comment like, oh, like, hey, I think you're like, they actually do it like as if they know them. That's oh the worst God. one. Not just like a word. It's when they. <laughs> no, do you know what I hate when a guy will post a picture, then his friend will write, looking good, bro. You know how it goes, bro. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> just like, yeah, bro. <laughs> <thumbs up. laughs> okay, cool. Safe, you love bro. each other. <laughs> just say I love you and get over and done. Do you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> we'll never say that. No homo. Oh, yeah, yeah, in, then that's another problem for month. them. Ugh, men. Um, this one confused me a little bit because I don't know. Anyway, it says, when a man has to bend down to tie their shoes, how the fuck else is he going to tie their shoes? <laughs> what, he's going to employ someone to do it for Put him? Put it on the table. Tie it up. Maybe. What, what is it about like, the bending what, bring over? Bring it up to your chest. What's, maybe it's because <laughs> they're bent over. Just tying my oh. shoes up. That's, 
Who cares? What's wrong with a guy bending know, over? I'd, I'd, I'd peg a guy. I was going to say, would you peg a guy? Yeah, 100%. I'd love to do that. If you would like to let me do that, I don't I'd think... stop using your podcast to pick up so, yeah, people. Pick up, pick up but, messages. you know, if you're down, message me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could peg a guy. Really? But, like, I wouldn't shame them for wanting that, but mm. I'm just, I don't know if I could do it. Because, like, maybe I could, I would say I could do a finger, but, like, these fingernails are not going up no bum hole. Yeah, no, yeah, guy asked me to finger him, and I, I said, well, I don't have nails on right now, but I was like, bro. Uh, um, nah. I'm gonna eat it. I'm gonna eat it, but other than that, I'm gonna eat it. Little cheeky, little cheeky, cheeky, cheeky with, with, with the nails, cheeky little rim. I can, yeah, I can, do you know what I mean? DJ, yeah, but not as fast as I like, like to do yeah. it. Um, I'm a bad man with the strap, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying, girls? Oh my days. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be saying all- Wait, <laughs> right, the thing Dr. is, Johnson, yeah. eighty nine now. He's Anyway, so so so. You know, people are going to be just listening to this. Audio. Oh, don't listen, don't listen, don't listen, don't no. listen. Shh. No, I mean, unsubscribe. In, no. no, 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 subscribe. Don't say that. Comment, comment below and subscribe. <laughs> no, what I mean, they're going to just be listening and not watching. They're going to have no idea what's going on. Yeah, she's making loads of faces. Oh, I'm. I pr- so throughout give, most can, of this can podcast, you give an audio I've been giving. Um, I stuck my tongue out of my mouth and opened my eyes wide and started wagging my tongue like a dog, uh, mimicking <laughs> eating. What was I eating? Oh, no, I was just, no, there's a strap. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was talking about I've using a strap. strap. You've never been strapped? Mm-mm. Really? I don't think I could be the strapper. I'd have to be the strappy. Oh, Not but I'd be... the <laughs> Yeah, I'd have to be the strappy. <laughs> oh, really? The I've been both. I feel like... I feel, mm. I feel quite... <laughs> How do we get? I feel quite powerful with the strap. Yeah, I think a lot of girls do. I like. They're I like, like. I didn't realize. Dude. Yeah, my dude. I'm not gonna. I get it. I get why. I mean, it's not for me personally, <laughs> yeah. but I get why some lesbians so mm. like that um, walk around with it. Mm. Or in their pants. Yeah. I get it. I'm about lesbian. I can't. You know, any other category, I can't speak on that. But I get it. Yeah. Cause I feel quite powerful. I'm not. I was like, okay, all right. You know what? Like maybe <laughs> if I if I had a bit more experience with that, then maybe down the line I'll try it. Like being the strapper. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't have. I need more. Like I sh- I've been having too much dick. Like okay. I, sh- I need some more puss in my life. I think twenty. <laughs> the next year is going to be the year of the puss. I hope it is. So yeah. I hope it is, and I hope you know. Maybe you en- I'll try it. Yeah, yeah. I hope you encounter. You just get the opportunity to see how you might respond if the opportunity right. presented right. itself. Yeah. I mean, it hasn't yet. Well, no I one's ever know. offered it to me, so you know. I didn't know I liked girls like that until I met a girl, and I was like, I "Can't fancy you," and it was. And then I was like, "Oh," I guess, and then from then, like, I opened that door and let it in, and then, Pandora's I, then box. I started seeing. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I, wouldn't, I knew I was into girls from young. Like I remember being in PE. Mm-hmm. Oh, God. oh, I hope no one's from my school ever listens to this. <laughs> Not you staring at her <laughs> mother getting changed. Wow. In the training. And you know what it specifically was? We um like, you know them stretchy Primark t shirts, like yeah. two pound basic mm. tee, round neck, whatever. You see when it had has like that. Oh the stretch stre- line in the middle. <gasps> <laughs> On the tea. Fifteen year old me would like, almost pass out looking at that. And obviously I'm in the changing rooms, so bare breasts walking past me. Yeah. And I just I would be like, oh my, I need to get out. So I'd yeah. always like just go in private and be like, Why am <laughs> I so attracted to breathing? I don't, I don't want to say names, but I was like, What yeah. is this feeling? I was just so obsessed with men though, because of the valid I I needed their validation that I mm. wasn't even looking at women. Because I was just so obsessed with male validation. Wow. Yeah. So it wasn't so until nice. I was like 20, 21. We should have I asked like, people their biggest turn on. Mm, well, sense. let's be honest. Yeah. The response would probably just be me. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It would be like, Do you know what Mojo, I mean? Yeah. Mojo. Mojo. Unanimous. Gets you na- at there this we go. Point when you're such an icon. Unanimous decision. You yeah. know, it's very hard. Yeah. You know, it's very hard being so sexy. To like, it's, it's, it's a curse. I'm afraid to go outside sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I get yeah. swarmed yeah. by people, offers to be <laughs> flown out. Thrown at me. It's your marriage. People want me to have their babies. Someone offered me their Bentley once. It's wow. what it gets it gets wild. Mm. It gets very wild yeah. sometimes. So, you know, it's a good job you didn't answer answer mm. ask that question. Because yeah, it would, it would have just been me yeah. all over, actually. Yeah. You ready for another one? Yeah, yeah let's go. For another it. one. Did we need more cool voice? <laughs> okay, so the question is, what's your biggest ick? My boyfriend making weed his whole personality. We've we've been there. Everyone's been there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like everything. Was been about. there, done that. Got the t-shirt. Wait. Oh my god, 
Yeah. <laughs> Call me the ganja planter. Deep down in the earth, let me put me ganja. No, you know the lyrics, Babylon, but... Come and <laughs> yes, I'm a ganja planter. All right. <laughs> I should have brought a little spliff with me. <laughs> Deep down in the earth. Oh, uh, what? Did I let you lot down? Should I, I put, should I put a little... Anyway... Backside. Not if my mum's listening. No, of uh, course uh, not. Yeah, especially yeah, because you know, I mean, uh, d- I we don't, don't do know that wacky what backy. You're talking about Josie. I ain't got What's a clue. A yeah, what I, is that? I've got no idea. I just no, just I came out know. of me. Like that wacky backy. <laughs> wacky was my mum would say. Wacky backy. <laughs> my mum's got arthritis, right? And she's like, maybe one day I'll just you know have a bit of that weed, and it'll help. It's gonna help me arthritis. You know, I tried to get my grandma to smoke. I tried to get my grandma to smoke a split with me. Because she, she, she had really bad. No, no, she wasn't. She was, oh, God, no, no, it's not for me, Jen. I'm in that low. <laughs> she was not into it, but I was like, Grandma, if you want to have a little puff. Let's have a token, man. Let me, yeah, 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 yeah. Let, let me <laughs> know. But she, she, wasn't, she wasn't into it. Yeah. Plus, I, 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 I don't think it would have helped that, mm. that much. Because I roll with tobacco. So. Uh, mm. My dad um, took his like, work colleagues, his like, construction to Amsterdam, came back, and he was like, We went into a cafe. And then, and we got, (laughs) (laughs) and we got a muffin and they said, you should only have, I only probably split it between four of you. It's like, we weren't going to do that. So we had one each. No. Oh my (laughs) God. (laughs) No. And I, and I had one of those cigarettes or something like that. He's saying, and then. He had a whole muffin and a (laughs) a Jesus. And then he's like, I was like walking on sponges. I was walking around like this. I was walking, (laughs) just like walking on sponges. And 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 I wouldn't do it again, but. Uh, well, I've done it now. <laughs> well, I've done it now. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> with me. She <laughs> went. I've got to first one like a whippet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got another ick. Oh, my God. Velcro wallets. <laughs> it's giving Pokemon <laughs> wallet. I can hear it. It sounds like 2001. Yeah, it's calling and wants their wallet back. <laughs> oh my days! That would I would I do, I think that would give me an ick. Yeah. Imagine going oh, to someone. Yeah, I mean, yeah, babe, 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 babe. I got this. Yeah, I got this. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> Brother. There's one lonely five pound note in there. That's it. Also, That's it. it. also, could it be like a black wallet with like a neon rimming around Don't the you edge? dare. Yeah. Don't you dare. Like some kind of logo. No. It's if a guy did that, you know, I would actually just pay. I would pay Natural for the whole history museum. museum. <laughs> <laughs> not the National History no. Museum. <laughs> okay. Men who are walking with a purpose to get to a destination and not just for fun. Why no car? Question mark. <laughs> not walking with a purpose and conviction and a, and maps on your phone to know where you're going because he doesn't have a car, man. On, oh, on that nice. note, I am, I am... Well, you're I, from... See, London is different. Mm, London, I think. I, yeah. I find it really hard to date someone who doesn't drive. Do you yeah. drive? I do drive, yeah. And I've been yeah, driving well, since I was 17. Oh. And, yeah. I don't know, and it's not it's not like a sexist thing. I'm happy to drive sometimes, but I don't yeah. want to always be responsible for driving. Listen, I don't want to. That. I don't want to. I want <laughs> to share the responsibility. Yeah, yeah, Do you yeah. understand what I'm saying? No, no, no. You're right, you're always right. always my responsibility. Do you? Yeah, because every guy I've dated that doesn't drive makes me take them places. Exactly. Bro, oh. it's I'm not your mum. From, from Manchester. Oh, I need you to take me Bolton. Bolton's half an hour away. Are you paying for my fucking petrol? About to take oh, you Bolton. Yeah. See, I'm a passenger princess. I, I don't drive. Yeah, see, but but I, I do love sitting in, in a man's. Um, not even a, just anyone anyway, passenger seat. Yeah, it's nice because you don't have to do the concentration. And you know, anyone who's been in a car with me, and the only person in this room who's been in a car with me is Miss Al over there, <laughs> knows that that I, as a person, am but I'm quite chilled. I don't really stress too much. What happens when I'm behind the wheel of a car? Sorry. Yeah. Anyone <laughs> yeah. Oh really? I, I'm so uh, the, the she worst was even road rage. I, I can't. Passenger driving. Yeah, you saw me in the cab last night. I was winding up the taxi because I was like, "What the fuck are these dickheads doing? What the fuck are they doing?" <laughs> like, oh I get so God. so angry. So my that friends that, like that. <laughs> I'm normally so chilled, and I get as soon as oh. I'm behind the wheel of a car, honestly. And then I get like, oh, all right, <laughs> Wacky, wacky races. Like, you, that's my, that's my reason why I'm too, too scared to drive because I've got such a temper. Yeah, but uh, but now I'm now I'm also thinking about it. Imagine when a man gets in the car with me for the first time. I'm the set like eh, all of my old senses switch off. I will be that person. So they'll probably be like, Imagine. oh shit, she's got anger issues. Oh gosh. But I save it just only for driving. Doesn't come out any other time. Oh okay. <laughs> 
Using your little bottles of Diet Coke and refilling it with water. <laughs> I tell you, there's nothing more rancid than when a bottle has had something in it in that it. is not water, then you put water in it. Because I can taste it. Yeah, I can still it. taste the Dr. Pepper it's on that. What is, water, what is Dr. Yuck. Pepper flavoured water? What is Yuck. that? Good for Go the and planet. buy a new bottle. Good for the new planet. Ugh. And put the, uh, first, put the first bottle in the recycling bin. Yeah. I tell you what. I went to the gym recently. I went to the gym recently. No, I got to the gym, right? <laughs> There's a guy in my gym, in my, bu- in my building. Instead of having a water bottle, I'm fucking shitting you not right now. Tell me why this man had a litre bottle of Smirnoff. <laughs> and I can't tell. To this day, to this day, I don't know if he was back in vodka in the gym or if it was water. Either way, it's not adding up. And he was so <laughs> confident in it as well. And I was trying to get a picture and I thought, nah. Because if he's actually back in vodka in the gym, he's unhinged. So if I take his picture, now what's going to happen? When he turns on me in a taxi. What? Yeah, bro, I still don't know to this day. Can you imagine getting lit and put, lifting weights? In the gym. I can't tell. Was it water or was it vodka? I don't know. Well, well, maybe, he, maybe it was a social experiment. Maybe he was doing it to see what everyone else or did. Or ah. maybe it's a glass bottle and you're supposed to, it's much better to reuse glass bottles apparently. And so he just had finished the vodka and There's choices that wanted to be environmentally friendly and decided to refill it with water. You know, why not? <sighs> that was vodka. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I think it was vodka. Um, Decision made. Men putting on a bicycle helmet or tripping over a curb. <laughs> okay, tri- no bicycle helmet because I'm all here for safety. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, tripping over a curb. Yeah, what are you doing? Look where you're going. No, <laughs> pick your feet up. I trip over Please. all the time. Hmm? I do trip over quite a lot. That give you the ick. No, I'm, I'm not going to trip. Oh, wait, am I am I the problem? Because if a woman did it, I'd be like, oh, so cute. <laughs> <laughs> but when a man does it, like, yuck. Oh. <laughs> Dis- disgusting I've, pull yourself together I think I just find it hilarious it would make them seem more human yeah it is it would make them seem oh, more human I would, out, yeah. I would like it and I'd just I'd find it abs- if it's, right you know what would be give me the ick was if they then were like disgusted with themselves or like really Im- not embarrassed <laughs> but like angry Ooh, about it whereas yeah. if they could laugh at themselves and we could have a good laugh about it together yeah, that, to, that would be hilarious to me like that's the exactly kind of thing that. that would get me like proper mm. belly laughing and I would find that's hilarious true. Yeah, if they're angry about it after I'm thinking, Ugh. yeah, it'd be weird. Wasn't that deep? It's no. A trip. <laughs> um, dirty slash sticky hands and men who take off their shirt unprovoked in brackets makes me want to cry. <laughs> Not takes their shirt off unprovoked. <laughs> oh, she's really upset about I know. it. No, but I do, I do get it. There's a guy in the gym, and I was there like with some friends, and we were training for I don't know, we we're going to climb a hill or something, a mountain or whatever it was. And um, he, we were all on the treadmill, men and women, as a mixed group. And he got on this treadmill next door to us, and he took his shirt off. Now, first of all, I think when you're in the gym, all of us should adhere to a dress code. If I have to keep my top on, then you have to keep your top on. Number one, number two, when you don't have clothes on, mm. your sweat is now going all over the treadmill because there's mm. nothing to soak it up. You know, like we have clothes oh on in the gym God. for a reason. Other people want to use the equipment. You're dripping in sweat everywhere. And honestly, I was just a little bit like, do you know what? Sometimes I, I do look at society and think this is so messed up. How can men can just be topless and whatever? And and you know, we women can a we'll probably get arrested. We'll get all kinds of looks. It's it's, it's boobs are so sexualized that we can. Let's be honest, it just would never be the same. And I was yeah. just like, can you just be respectful and keep your t shirt on? Yes. Yeah. So then my friend, who's a man, went and spoke to him at the end and was like, look, mate, like it, you know, you're in the gym. The rules say that you have to, like you have to wear a, t- a top. This guy got so defensive, really angry, like tried to square up to my friend, like all of this stuff. And I'm just like, just wear a t-shirt. Mm. The moral of the story is, wear your vest, maybe wear your t-shirt. Maybe his nips were chafing. No, it's just because, <laughs> I think it was because some people, like, I, I imagine it was because, and maybe I'm wrong, but he thought he looked really good mm. and he felt like it hit his ego, my friend yeah. saying something to him. And then the ego, and then he felt the need to defend himself. But anyway, keep your shirt on in the gym. Please, and thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Men wearing flip-flops. I can't lie, I agree with that. I don't want to see your fucking toes. I'm no, supposed to if you've had that. a manicure. Yeah, if they're, if they're good toes, yeah, show them off, What man boy. do you know that has nice toes? A lot. Uh, quite a few. Yeah. 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 I don't know many that get mani- get pedicures, but I do know quite a few guys. Oh, sorry, pedicures. Nice I, do, I, I know men that get pedicures. pedicures. They scare me. Hmm? So I try not to look but, at men's feet because they scare me. But also you've got to Maybe. think about comfort, haven't you? Like, do you know what I mean? Like when it gets hot outside and etc., you want them to be able to have yes. air to their toes. Yes. And Get them toes out for me, baby. Healthy. Wiggle them in the sand. I'm shaming these men's toes. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like I saw a man on the tube yesterday and his toes were not. Oh, on the on the sorry. tube with flip flops. Yep, you had oh, me right. Oh, sorry. When you said the moment you said flip flops, I was on a beach in Mexico. Mm. Oh, I'm talking. 
Okay, oh, no. What, All right, like... listen to me. Flip flops on holiday. Do your thing. Flip flops in this here England when it were not hot. reaching above twenty. Eight. No, sorry. No, okay, no. Someone needs to call you to call the police on so you. Sorry, I feel yeah, that's baby, okay. No. I'm letting oh. them do it if they're comfortable. Twenty nine degrees house? that you can still wear Air Force. No, would you? Yeah. So you wouldn't wear flip flops in not this country. Really. If I was going, like I'd only wear flip flops. Yeah. To if I was just going sh- to the corner shop. But maybe he was. Maybe he lives around you. He's just taking the tube to a shop. But I guess Sorry, I don't care for the excuses. I don't want to see your toes. <laughs> I don't want to see them toes, them tootsies. Really? Oh, when they when they, when a guy's have, when a guy has pedicured feet, I'm just like, ooh. I've oh, given a toe ooh. job before. Given a t- yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no, like as in toe toe job. Well, you put their toes in your mouth. Yeah, men's <gasps> toes in your mouth. Oh, call the bloody ambulance! Get a sectioned. <laughs> Wait, sorry. How many times? Oh my god! Did I just person? shame you? Am I the problem? Sorry. What the problem? Fuck the patriarchy. We're gonna get hate on uh, this. Oh my god! Then what's what succession? Look at that no. caller. Anyway, moving on. Anyway, yeah, I did. I was in the mouth. Did you enjoy it? Um, yeah, I did actually, and so did he. Apparently, it changed his life. Really? I love it. I love my toes in someone else's mouth. Yeah, that I can do. I just, I just don't know. But I guess if they've man- got nice feet, yeah. Then what's then what's the problem? There you go. It's the fact that I will. Ask, but a toe in the mouth is too far for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, a toe in the, yeah, a toe's too far. Okay. I love it though. Do you know what? You embrace that shit. If people walk weird, specifically if they walk on their toes and it's a bouncy walk, do you know what? Like <laughs> that's when people from when they're young, they don't they walk on their toes and they can't stop doing it now, and I feel really bad for them. And it, but it's like they walk so like the, their heels shorter. are always off the floor. Yeah, I don't get that. It's like a thing from like when you're young and it's hard to unlearn. I think it's to do with your tendon is shorter if you do that because you, you're not using your foot like that, like heel to toe. Yeah. So you're just on your toes. So your tendon doesn't lengthen or something like that. You know, there is a technical, oh. scientific reason or something. Is it some kind of neurodivergency? You know? No, I don't, I don't necessarily think so. I think oh. it's just a way that you... Sorry. Like, no, no. But I just I think it's one of those things that some people just walk like that because maybe that's just how they learn to walk with their kids and then they just carry mm. it on. And if it's not corrected, then actually your body alters... No. Okay. Hey, biggest dick. The minute where he's on, <laughs> the minute when he's only got a t-shirt on and his dick is hanging out. <laughs> I kind of like that. I like it. Yeah. Give me, give me, give me easy access. Packing the lemon. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. The, you know the look when the what's it called the mushroom hanging out the bottom of the t-shirt. I don't mind it. Yeah, oh, the, oh, yeah, it does. It give me an ick. Oh, it's random, funny. though. But, but, but that's the whole point of icks. Like, the whole point of icks is it could be something that to someone else is completely normal, but actually oh. is, a, is an ick. Like, it's, it's supposed to be just really random, and it could be absolutely anything. When you click your neck like that, I am worried for your safety. Really? Oh, I love that. I, I love I wonder if they heard it on the neck. camera. No. Oh, I wish I could. I can't do that. Yeah. I wish I could do that. So, everyone Thanks hates it. Stop. My dad actually had to stop me and was like, can you please stop doing that around me? Mm. That was giving him the ick. There you go. <laughs> um, this one is someone's ick, but I love this. Earrings on a guy. I love a yeah. man that wears a dangly earring. Oh my God, yeah. I'll tell you what, it's even better when they're French. Oh, je ne sais quoi. That's all I can say. Yeah. French man with a dangly earring. Ruin your life. Or a nose piercing. <laughs> a guy with a nose piercing. It's a bit of me. Yeah. Yeah, I don't mind any of that. That's not going to give me the ick. Um, men who put WhatsApp stories up. I didn't even know that was a thing. So just put a WhatsApp status up. Like a story. Oh, no, like a story, no. Yeah, but you do. You can post pictures or whatever on there. It's, it's interesting mm. to see who it brings back from your past. You yeah. it out the last that's, few that's weeks. What, that's what WhatsApp is for me. Yeah. Using Snapchat as a main form of communication. That's yeah. weird. Yeah, big ick. At this age, that's ick. so yeah, weird. Big, big ick. That is a big ick. Red okay. flag. I'll do one more. When guys do the voice note laugh, you know exactly what I mean. <laughs> that sounds like <laughs> Santa. <laughs> <laughs> when he's lit. What are you saying? Uh, that's what it's given. I don't know if I've ever had that. Had that. Yeah, I had that. Oh, did that guy do it on those weird voice notes that I played you? <laughs> no, you know the guy yes! that at me on yes! behalf of his friend? Yes. Yeah. He was doing a, yeah. that. Like, why are you laughing? Nothing is funny. Why yeah. are you laughing on the voice note to me? If you're socially awkward, just text me. Yeah. So this guy, <laughs> this guy slid into the DMs to voice note me to tell me that his friend fancied me. What? Yes. I'm 40. How about the six? That sounds like year nine. Yeah. <laughs> so that didn't go well. Yeah, no, and then the end. Oh, no, that was a different one. Yeah. No, that didn't go well. Didn't go well. So the, the end of the pops. X. Yeah. Sorry, go on. The end of the X. It's the end of the X, and maybe that means it's the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs>
Wop, wop, wop. Girly pops, that's it. I feel like we've gone on for quite quite a long time. This might be a long episode. We've had a good chat, haven't we? Yeah, it's been really good this girl. It's been really good. I've had a Would good you like time. to sing a little finale tune? Oh. What shall we do? Um. Uh, oh, what's that song? Um, Ain't No Mountain High Enough? Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no mountain high. Ain't no valley you're, low. Hey, you're a good Ain't singer. no river wide enough, baby. Why well, don't know until it gets to the chorus? Oh. When you need me, call me. me. No, no matter where you are, are. No, no matter how far. Uh, don't worry, baby. Just call my name. I'll be there in a hurry. Don't, don't have, have to worry. Because, baby, there ain't, ain't no mountain <laughs> high No, you stay enough. up there. Get it. Ain't no valley low enough. Ain't no river wide enough to keep me from getting to you, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that was great. That was great. You know what? That was great. That was great. I, I'm aware I sound like a cat being strangled. But you know what? It's about but having fun. Yeah, I, yeah. I gave you and your you chance to up, shine, and it? I did, you know? And that's what matters. Yeah, yeah man. Most. Yeah. I just you gave showed up for yourself. All, I'm confident. I'm not, yeah, not going to hide my voice. That was confidence. Yeah. Right there. That's right the episode. There. I backed myself. Yeah. yeah, you fucking did. Oh, my job. Yes, Sorry for it. joining us. Sorry if you've got an earache. <laughs> yeah, there is a bleeding current. <laughs> it wasn't you, it was all of us. <laughs> all of us, baby. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on this I episode. This. It's been the best thing you've ever done. By far. Yeah. Better than the orgasm. Ever. By far. But wait, what? Better than that orgasm. Way yeah. better than that orgasm. Oh, for, for, for. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I've had a good time on this podcast. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's gonna, no, we're getting on hinge now. It's too late. She's <laughs> no, she's going to leave here. There's going to be a trail behind her. She's just leaving. Oh, God. She's get the mop out. <laughs> get the out. Dripping. Wet. Meow. <laughs> say meow. Meow. I can't come this podcast without saying meow. Oh. Meow. Perfect. Perfect. You get me? Meow. Okay. Meow. So, guys. Bye. Oh, Thank you. So Share it with everyone. Oh, so, okay, okay, okay. So, at the end of every episode, I've started doing this thing where I just tell people to share it with very specific people. So, okay, right. you know the vibes, guys. Follow us at Mum Told Me Pod. Email us at Mum Told Me Pod at gmail.com. If you have any dilemmas, if you have any sus, 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 sassy secrets, anything you want us to cover, because we're here for you at all times. But what I'm going to what I'm gonna need you to do mm. is give a glowing review. Mm -hmm. And also... Five stars. Let your friends know. And who I want you to tell this week specifically is I want you to go to your local church and own, you know what, now I'm thinking about, we've been talking about sex this week, but I was going to say your local um, pastor. Or vicar. Sh your local vicar. Yeah. Share with the local vicar. Mm. I want you to share it with your Auntie Catherine's friend, Sandy. I want you to share it with the bus driver uh, on your local route. And mm. lastly, who else do I want them to the share The postwoman. The postwoman. The Hermes lady, there's a nice woman that yeah. comes around at my end. Share it with her Hermes too. Hermes lady. Yeah. And that's who I want you to share it with specifically this week. And everyone in your group chat and everyone you know. And do a WhatsApp broadcast. Thank you. Love you. Love you all so much. Bye. Bye. Bye.